Hello, I'm Jackie Stewart. Welcome to this pre-race report for Formula One. The Grand Prix of Brazil is the first race in this year's World Championship Series, which of course we'll be covering on ESPN. Rio de Janeiro, it was first discovered and admired by the French, but that wasn't allowed to last. It's the Portuguese who really settled here, and it's their language that is spoken. The religion, extremely Catholic. A giant Christ dominates the skyline both day and night. The historical shyness and modesty of the female species, normally associated with highly religious communities, has been in Rio, to say the least, liberated. The long beaches of Copacabana, Ipanema and Leblon are blessed with an abundance of female form in the most scanty attire. Rio de Janeiro reflects all that Grand Prix racing projects. It's colorful, it's exciting, it's glamorous. But as with the beginning of any new year, the unknown is upon us. Will the reigning world champion Alan Cross confound the statistics by winning again this year? Not since 1959 and 60 has the championship been won back to back. Will Nelson Piquet conquer his third world title in the Williams Honda? Can Ferrari come back from a long drought with Alberetto and Johansson? will Brazil's new young superstar Ayrton Senna and the GPS Lotus cause havoc in the ranks. Keke Rosberg has moved to the Marlboro McLaren team with Cross and is a contender, as is Piquet's own teammate, Britain's Nigel Mansell. There's a brand new knee-high Brabham BMW for Elio De Angelis and Ricardo Patrese, which could put the cat amongst the pigeons. René Arnaud is back in his first race since being laid off by Ferrari after the event 12 months ago right here. He'll be with Jacques Lafitte and the Ligier. The Tyrrell team have a new sponsor and data general, and the new driver Streff to join Martin Brundle. The American Carl Haas team with Australian Alan Jones and Francis Patrick Tambay, their all-new Ford Turbo Grand Prix engine will be on board, not until the early European races. All this coming up on ESPN.